Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim and welcome to Tallulah, Louisiana by Newell Gaming. Now, disclaimer, straight off the bat, this map is still very much a work in progress. It's still in its beta stages. Um, so, with that in mind, a few details from uh, Newell Gaming himself on his itch.io page. Now, this is a 16x map, 8km by 8km, so that makes it a PC-only map. Uh, the map is based on real map data, on real map layout. Uh, Tallulah, Louisiana is a real place. Uh, it is in northeastern Louisiana. Uh, the map itself consists at the minute of 200 fields. Um, he has laid out a brief creation roadmap ahead for until completion of the map. Um, he plans on obviously completing the road layout. The road, the road network isn't completely done yet, so he plans on completing that. He plans on finishing the tree lines, adding more fields, and adding decorations. So more fields at the minute says there may well potentially be more than 200 fields but that's for the map maker himself to decide uh for testing purposes currently when you download this version of the map uh you own all the placeables by default and all the farmlands are split up into 21 batches at the minute um so that may well change from the completion of the map um and the only known issue that he's written is the map is incomplete which is fine so anyway the reason for making this video, um, I just felt compelled to do it. I've, When I found, when I discovered the map and downloaded it and had a bit of a wander around and, or a bit of a fly around because it's much quicker, um, I really do like this map so far. I am extremely excited for its completion. Uh, now, there is no completion date set. It will be ready when it is ready. As with every mod and every map in the world of Farming Simulator, it will be ready when it's ready. So, But I just wanted to whet your appetite for it in a way because... I know I'm excited for it. Um, so, and, and but also to raise awareness, uh, if if any of you didn't were unaware of Newell Gaming, I thoroughly, heartily recommend go check out his itch.io page because there are a, there's he's got quite a few mods on there. Uh, in particular, mainly uh, cell points productions and factories, but there are some very interesting cell points productions and factories on on his page there that do and will add variety to to your game if you're so interested so please go check them out there will be there will be a link in the description below for his itch page in general and i'll put a link in particular for the for the map link as well if any of you are in, interested in downloading this beta version so with that in mind let's um jump straight into the map pda now personally i feel Regardless of your play style, I think this map has got you covered. If you prefer to farm small with small equipment on small fields, this has got you sorted because you've got the likes of uh, field one there, which looks particularly small. We've got field 77 down here, which looks even smaller than field one, I think, by a tiny little bit. Now, I can't click on the particular fields themselves. Uh, as, as I mentioned before, the farmlands at the minute have been uh, batched up into 21 sections. So if we go to the farmland, as you can see, all of those fields are batched up into one section field uh, farmland six there farmland four etc that may well change uh upon completion of the map time will tell but uh, either way if you like your small stuff you like to farm small then this has got you covered but if you like small to medium it's got you covered and if you like the big stuff it's got you covered because uh field 45 there that's uh i think i think that's the biggest field on the map so far uh but yeah we will fly over that one in a wee while, and I'll show you that uh, just so you can get an idea of the scale of the fields. Because uh, as I say, the, the PDA doesn't really do it justice. This is a 16x map, so they are big fields. So let's have a bit of a fly around. Uh, I'm not going to follow any particular direction or hunt for anything in particular. I'm just going to fly around as I feel necessary. Uh, we're in the bottom left-hand corner of the map at the minute, uh, just down here. So this is the uh, this is one of the starter farms here. It's got a decent amount of land with it, surrounded by a huge amount of trees. Now, the bottom right-hand corner of the map, as you can see here in the distance. I mean, look at the place. It's absolutely massive, isn't it? <laughs> um, again, some really decent-sized fields down here. Now, this is the area. This bottom right-hand corner of the map. This is the area where um, I'm assuming uh, Newell Gaming, when he says he plans on making more fields, I can only assume that this is what he means. He's got obviously the a loose road network laid out here and just some blank land in between so I'm, I can only assume this is where he's planning on adding all these fields turning them into actual field uh, farmland as it were but yeah huge amounts of land here obviously this is this is a perfect multiplayer map it really is but 
at the minute, if I go into the field calculator mod, which I've got up here, which obviously can find all the fields, it, it numerically goes right the way down to field 198. So he has stated, uh, I think he stated there's potentially going to be more than 200 fields, but uh, 99 and 200 don't exist yet. But if we were to add in each of these patches as a field, there's going to be way more than 200 potentially. I don't know. He may, you know, he might, he might well leave this stuff blank, and that's for for us to create as uh, as as players, which I suppose I'd be fine with too as well. But you know, it's entirely down to him. This is his creation. But what a beauty! So where are we now? We're well on the uh, right hand side of the map, I think now. Yeah, there we are. So heading north a bit. Now I'm assuming this this fatter lane here that you can see here, if we follow that along. Uh, when he says he plans on completing the road network, I mean I I'm at 14 times speed here in Easy Dev, and this is this is as fast as we can go. Um, so bear with me. But yeah, there's a there's kind of like a, a highway here that's been partially started in the middle. It's got a nice bridge crossing down there as well. Let's take a take a ride down here. Now obviously there's no traffic splines on here yet. There's no traffic. Um, hopefully I'm sure there will be in the near future. But yeah. So I'm assuming this, this highway is going to be running north to south, east to west. But this is going to be a beauty when it's finished. It really is. So, plenty of fields. Plenty of fields. There is no shortage of those. Obviously, being a farming game, that's what you want. But of varying sizes as well. You know, you've got some absolute whoppers. I mean, that's huge in of itself, isn't it? But I'm a, I can only assume that if we were to go to the map PDA... Where are we? So field 56. I suppose you could consider that one of the biggest that's around at the minute. 45 being, I think, the biggest at the minute. 41 there is not far behind. But uh, looking at the PDA, you'd, you'd be forgiven for thinking that's like a medium-sized field. But no, that's that's quite a size. We've got some sell points, grain mills. I think this is the grain mill, is it? Looks like it. Farmer's Grain Company, yep. Uh, we do have a BG8 on the map. There are numerous sell points that are set out. Re reasonable size field there. I think that's a field, is it? Yep, field 58. Now the field that the, the, the map, sorry, does support all crops. It's even it, it does support the premium expansion as well. Um, I do have the premium expansion installed, and red beets, parsnips, and carrots are all on here. So uh, that's excellent. But I do. I just. The feel of the place, I just really appreciate it. It's 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 really nice. It's it, it's going to lend itself very well to role play series. I feel there's this lovely little, uh, well, a, a very basic but sparse town. Um, oh, that is a small field, isn't it? Although that's not looking at the uh, bottom left of the map there in the map PDA. It's not actually a numbered field. It looks like it's joined to field 177 here with a different crop. Um, but there you go. There's some red beets. The field of red beets. So you can uh, you can see that the premium expansion is installed and work is is supported and working fine. Another starter farm there. Now I've been whizzing back and forward, left and right. I've lost my bearings. Where are we? So we're now at the top of the map here, almost the very top of the map. There are a lot of animal points, animal uh, barns dotted around. I just saw that one there. Where's that one? Sheep barn, large. That's to my. Oh, there we go. It's right there. This one here. So, yeah. If animals are your thing, this has got you sorted. And obviously, if animals are your thing, and this is a, this looks like it could be a bit of a starter farm. We've got a production there. What we've got there? Needle and stitch. So, that's the uh, that's the clothes manufacturer. And I think this will be the spinnery. Yes, this will be the spinnery. See, that's very thoughtful. The fact that they're right next to each other. So, if you are doing sheep... I suppose that's pretty much an all-in-one there, isn't it? You've got your sheep barn there, you've got your workshop. You've got your spinnery and you've got your clothes manufacturers. So uh, and I can tell you from personal experience down on my uh, court farm series, doing sheep with wool and turning them into clothes is extremely lucrative. I highly recommend it. So where are we going now? Let's head over yonder. But yeah, some... I really appreciate the uh, the differing shapes of fields as well. You've got this nice, long, thin strip here. Um, what have we got down there? Another production system, is that? What have we got here? A dairy. There we go. I think there's a couple of dairies on the map, actually. 
But yeah, I like the idea that he's also, you know, where I've seen it a few times on the map so far that where there is a production system, he's placed down some form of shed as well. So if you if you were to get into that production system and uh, start making an empire from it, you've got somewhere to store the machinery to uh, to work that uh, product for you. So it's really cool. Lovely little area down here. Now, obviously, the map is a work in progress. As I said at the beginning, it's still very much in its beta stages. So if you see areas that look unfinished, that's why. But obviously, using your imagination, appreciating what, appreciating what it could be like when it's finished, this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful map. So much scope, so much space to work. And when I say scope, I mean you've got the you've got the capacity to run massive machinery in the fields, harvesters, planters, you know. But you've also got capacity to run some of the small stuff as well. I think we've got. Uh, particularly small field coming up in front of us here I think this I think this is field one I think yeah see that's not so big is it that's all right perfect for supporting the small equipment some nice old rural equipment as well that's uh it certainly rings true for me anyway on this map you've got capacity to run the big stuff but you can also run some nice authentic old school American equipment which I really like to do we can do both or all of it <laughs> but yeah just the sheer size of this place obviously and anyone who's familiar with a 16x map knows how big a 16x map is but i love this one i really do i'm extremely excited for its release Right, this is field 77 and it has an area of 1.5 acres. Now I thought this was the smallest on the map, but after a bit more uh, looking and discovering, uh, if I pop into the PDA, I'm pretty sure that field 42 here, which has an area of 0 0.67 acres, I think that is uh, the trophy holder for the smallest field on the map, I think. But if we uh, take a fly over to field 45 here in the distance there, you will see, like I said, I think this is the biggest one on the map. This has an area of 123.55 acres. So, like I said, this map has got you covered. Whether you want the small stuff, the medium stuff, or the big stuff, you can do it all on this map. Another thing this map has got you covered for is starter farms. There's loads of them. If you like your dairy farming, there's this one. There's this one. There's this one. And this one. There's this one. And there's this one. There's this one. And another one. You got this one. You got this one nestled away in the trees. You got this one. And you got this one. Oh, and you got this one. And finally, I think, this one. Nope, there was this one as well. And of course, there's this one which I think is the last one that I've been able to find. This is the one where all your uh, starter equipment is when you, if you start to start the game in new farmer mode. All the equipment you see here is owned by you, the low loader, the pace setter, the fuel tanker, the little trailer there. We've got uh, a couple of tractors, a harvester, a sprayer, another pace setter, a couple of trucks, a couple of headers around the side there. There's a jet washer there, so I'm assuming this is planned on being the starter farm, so maybe there might be a bit more work going into this. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, but all in all, I think I have counted so far 17 
potential starter farms on this map. Now that's predominantly, jumping back into the PDA, that's predomin predominantly in the top half of this map. There was one or two of them there in the bottom uh, left-hand corner here, but obviously if, uh, if Neil Gaming plans on doing it, there may be more set out over here in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. But either way, even if you don't like any of the starter map of starter farms, there is enough room on this map for you to start from scratch and build yourself whatever farm uh, you feel like building. Because there is, if you if if you can't build a farm on this map somewhere, um, there's something wrong, <laughs> in my opinion. It's got so much scope; it really has. Here's another aspect of this map that. Uh, I really do appreciate and it's something that I look for when it comes to a map is uh, how well optimised it is if you can see there, top of the screen 60 frames a second, everywhere which for a 16x map in my experience anyway um, it's certainly it's not unheard of but it's uh, for me, as a player it's important because the game just runs so smooth look at that, everywhere you go, 60 frames a second very very well optimized map considering how much landscape it's got to uh, render in front of you now i know i only have my at the minute my load distances are set to the maximum 200 percent uh okay we had a bit of a dip there but i think that was just rendering the stuff into view um but yeah that's incredible it really is kudos to new world gaming for uh what he's doing with this map so far And if uh, production systems are your thing, this map has also got you covered with that, jumping into the menus. Now these are the ones that we own from the start, from the get-go. Now that will probably change come the completion of the map. But there is a bakery, we have a carpenters, there is a dairy, we have a grain mill. There's a great processing unit, oil mill, sawmill. We've got, that sm we've got a small greenhouse, there's a spinnery, and there is a tailor shop. But, as I mentioned before, uh, if productions are your thing and you like something a bit different, you like to add uh, a little bit of variety into your game, go check out Newell Gaming's itch.io page and on there you will find some quite interesting um, production systems, factories and uh, processing factories as it were. So go check that out. Heartily recommend it. And of course, if forestry is your thing, this map's got you covered as well. There's plenty of that. And one thing that makes a map stand out for me is personality, character, feel. And I personally really do feel that this map has got the, all of that in droves. Now, yes, even in its work-in-progress state, in its beta stage, um, I think Newell Gaming has done an admirable job of making this map have feel to it. Um, the roads aren't arrow-straight because it's such a massive map. I know a lot of uh, a lot of the really big maps out there, the ones we've... Uh, I know I've seen a few in the past where... They're great maps, don't get me wrong, I'm not taking away from them. But obviously, the, you know, the road network is relatively straightforward. It's, uh, you know, it's a, a grid layout of square roads, north, south, east and west. Whereas this is, you know, you've just got... The roads aren't straight, there's, there's plenty of curves, there's undulations in the land. Yes, it's a big, flat map, but it's not entirely... Iron flat, if that makes any sense. There are hills, there are lumps and bumps and ups and downs, and just that in itself gives helps give an area character. I mean, just this in itself, just this little area here. You've got a starter farm here. I hope I did include that in my uh, farm by farm little flyover before. I hope I didn't miss that one. In which case, if I did, that'll be 18. But uh, yeah, um, it's got feel to it, and that's that's what brings me to a map over most things. So this is my first map preview stroke tour, if you can call it that, um, that I've made for Farming Simulator 22. And I do suppose I've made it a bit tricky for myself in picking a map that hasn't actually been finished yet. But uh, I do hope that you can understand why I wanted to do this. Um, from what we've seen so far of this map, this is going to be an absolute belter, if you ask me. I'm really excited for its release. Now, obviously, as I said at the beginning, uh, without repeating myself, the map will be ready when it is ready. There's obviously a lot of work left to do for Newell Gaming to get this finished, but I just wanted to make this video to whet everybody's appetite for it if uh, big maps are your thing. So, I know I'm extremely excited for it. I really am. Um, can't wait. 
Although we're going to have to, aren't I? So I'll put my uh, patient shoes on, as it were. But yeah, really excited for it. Cannot wait. It's got such a lot of character. It really has. If rural, small American farming is your thing, you can do that. And as I said before, if you like the big stuff, you can do that as well. So the intention was never to go into too much detail about the particulars of the map. It was just obviously to showcase what Newell Gaming has done with the place so far. Um, I mean, look at this. It's just, uh, this is just one of, the, I think, the standard game houses, but it's got a, this little really quite authentic backyard American home workshop, vehicle workshop thing at the back of the house. Um, and it's brilliant. It just gives a really nice feel to the place. It really does. Absolutely love it. But yeah, as I say, there will be a link in the video description below to Newell Gaming's Itch.io page uh, that showcases all of the mods he's done so far. Uh, and it does have this map on it as well, but I will put a, a link to, to the map itself as well in the video description below. So I am going to call it here for, tea, for, for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you've enjoyed this little map tour stroke preview, if you can call it that. Um, and I hope it has whetted your appetite for the map to come in the future. Now, as I said before, there's plenty to do. It's not going to be ready yet. It'll be ready when it's ready. So, uh, But at least this uh, gives you the opportunity to, if you haven't already heard of Newell Gaming, you can follow him on his itch.io. You can bookmark the page if you need to and just uh, keep up to date with the progress of the map. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I really do hope you've enjoyed it and uh, found it remotely interesting. Uh, as always, if you're new to my channel and you like my content, you like the way I'm doing things, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the channel, giving the video a like if you can. Um, and as always, there are a host of links in the video description below, not only with Newell Gaming's details, but also with my Giants Partner promo code. If any of you are in the market for a DLC, an add-on, a season pass, or even the full game itself, and you like the idea of helping out a content creator at the same time, I would be massively appreciative. So thanks again. Thanks very much for your time watching the video. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.